More voters thought that Biden was a threat. That was so crazy. It was Washington Post. It was the Washington Examiner. Let's get to, uh, anyway, uh, we, you, you, we did, we'll get you to weigh in on the uh, 10% tariffs across the board sometime, Rick, because uh, there are some, um, I mean, both, both administrations, the Trump and the Biden knew how to spend. Uh, we know that. Steve Leithman joins us again uh, with more on the data uh, and some Fed news. Don't start anything with Rick now, Steve. Well, I just want to offer another perspective oh my God. to something and Rick said. Like, thank you. Oh, thank way. God. This is thank God. God. I was going to say quiet this just because I want to. This is the way it always starts. Right. This is the way it always starts. Well, I just, I offer it gently and, and just for, for consideration that people may say they want a deflationary period, but I don't oh, know okay. how many people consider that generally in a deflationary period, yes. incomes go down too. Now, Rick and I may agree maybe short term. Um, I think there's a good argument that if you restore the prior supply chain uh, situation that we had before the pandemic and the prior competitive situation before the pandemic, that indeed prices could go back closer to where they were before the pandemic on a short run basis. But I would just urge people not to wish too much for a deflationary period because in that period, your prices go down and your incomes go down. And we have two examples of that. One was the 2000, uh, the great financial crisis. And of course, during the pandemic, that's when you had deflationary period. If you look at what happened to wages and salaries, well, they fell as well. Um, I would just offer that on the jobless claims numbers, we're, I mean, Rick already said this, we're towards the high side, but not towards the red flag side, I guess I could say. I would think 250 or above would be uh, where you might get uh, concerned. You have a 1.2% uh, uh, unemployed unemployment rate uh, or unemployment insurance rate, and that's pretty much where it's been. As the number of people employed goes up, well, the actual number of unemployed insurance becomes less concerning. Um, and I'm not going to say anything about elections or anything like that, just that almost every study has said that tariffs are paid by the people domestically, not by those companies Give overseas. Give me one more so second. Pressure them. Sure. All right, I'll tell you what, here's the issue with tariffs, okay? That you say we're gonna just pass it along. I couldn't agree more. But my counterpoint is, look at what the world has been without them being the driving force of any type of revenue. Do you think we should be bragging about 35 trillion in debt? Like the other side of the equation, isn't anything to strive for to throw a flag up the pole and call it success. Maybe going the other way would be better. Pass it on, we pass everything on. That's fine, Rick, but just don't sell it as something being paid overseas and something not raising prices and not essentially as a tax increase. It's fine. You can, the public can decide, uh, or, or the government can decide Versus with the public's what? consent, the tax I assume. Increases to you tax increases without the tariffs. The other administration talking about tax increases, right. too. Right, I, I don't exactly. Understand the but, but what, Prior to income but tax, the, the difference is, pay for its bills with tariffs. But one is called a tax increase. The other is essentially lied oh, about oh, as not a tax you increase. Want, tomato, tomato. Both of them aren't going to okay, be generous to us with all this debt. If, if that's and the way you want to do it, then it's okay deflation. to make things up. Nobody likes deflation because when you're in debt up to your eyeballs, it exaggerates debt. But when I go to the that's store, a, that's see another other reason people, not to like deflation. Affected, maybe they would like a little deflation, not crisis era deflation why does it have to be like a little none or a ton there's something a little bit in the middle yeah and rick i, I agree with you that i think there needs to be a little bit more discussion about why some prices have not gone back to where they were before and we really come full oh, yeah, circle let's ask elizabeth which is this I, it's but, because but, of god well, no 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 let me finish Joe. Rick, let, me, let me let me let me finish if okay. remember what i said prices can go back Prices can go back to their old level if we restore the competitiveness and the supply chain of the pre-pandemic era. Tariffs work against that, Rick. If we uh, want to uh, pay uh, higher now, prices, we want to have, if we want to protect. Globalism reversing out pushes prices up, but you know what? We're going to be better off. Sorry. You call it. So we pay. You call it globalism, prices, Rick. I call it the alternative. I, okay. I call it capitalism, Rick. The, the idea that people have an ability. I, I call it capitalism, Rick. The, I, the, I, the, I, the, I, the now uh, the I idea, you, Rick. That hold on, no, we're done, we're done. But I want now. I want to argue with you. No, no, no. This is not what you were talking about. You were talking about something totally 